not allowing, but, but forcing people to be more transparent. So instead of faking it till you make it, I feel like nowadays we should be, you know, not really making it. You should be making it. You should be making content until you make it. <clears throat> I think some of the worst advice that um, I've ever got my entire career uh, that I've given uh, my entire career that I lived by for the first part of my career and probably pertained to when I was coming up in the industry was the advice of fake it till you make it. Um, and, and, you know, nowadays it'd be like considered like fronting. Um, and I, I just think that that's some of the worst advice ever, because I, I feel like nowadays with the way, you know, social media is going and the way that, you know, that, that, um, all of the different forms of media that we participate on a daily basis. I feel that nowadays, by faking it till you make it, you're not allowing people to see the real you. And I feel like uh, uh, the social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram, you know, uh, LinkedIn, TikTok, you know, all of that are allowing people to be more transparent and are actually not allowing, but, but forcing people to be more transparent. So instead of faking it till you make it, I feel like nowadays we should be, you know, not faking it till you make it. You should be making it. You should be making content until you make it and showing people what it's like to get to where you're going. I was never a great hairdresser. I, I wasn't trained by great hairdressers. I, I got to work with some great hairdressers, but it was, you know, on, on you know, at hair shows, you know, for a couple of days, you know, or at training. So I really had to do all my stuff via videos, like like uh, uh, VHS tapes. I had to I had to learn, and I couldn't even afford the good VHS tapes. I had to learn, you know, from from manufacturer's tapes that I got for free for buying spray wax. Um, I always wanted to get like, you know, the Vidal Sassoon, you know, collections or the Tony and Guy collections. Uh, I just could never afford it because you know. I'd, you know, we had just bought a salon or we had just built a salon and, you know, we couldn't afford the, you know, $300, $200 for the, the, the set of videos. Um, so what I would do is I would, you know, just pour over everything in, in books and magazines and, and I would, any video that I got, I would just try and dissect every single haircut. And I did fake it until I make it. And, you know, that was back in the days when, you know, you could hide what your inspiration was. You know, people could say, I came up with this, this look. I came up with, you know, this long hairstyle or this haircut or any of that kind of stuff. And, and none of us do any better because we, you know, we didn't have the information that's out there. Nowadays, you know, the information is so readily accessible that if, if you're faking it and saying that you're coming up with something or you're saying that you know how to do something and you really don't, you're going to get found out and you're going to lose credibility. So I don't think that you should fake it until you make it anymore. I nowadays think that you should go ahead and, you know, make as much content as possible until you finally make it because I think that people will, will value that a lot more. These awesome or, you know, vlogs that I do, I don't know if it's called a vlog or what, is really just me making it and make, trying to make myself more awesomer. And I am just putting out content for myself you know, but I figured somebody might like to listen to these little rants, um, but I'm putting out content for myself to help me become more awesomer. Um, and it's me trying to make it, but I'm making it until I make it. So that's, you know, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, to go back on the advice that I might've told you way back, you know, when, which was fake it until you make it. Nah, I would say just go ahead and, and keep doing, you know, what you're doing and hustling and document making it. I love each and every one of you. I hope you're having a wonderful day and you're super successful. Thank you so much.